Hey guys, it's Clark Hellscream. Do you guys trust me? Then let's jump off a cliff together. How much do you really trust me? Now, now, now you gotta ask yourself that question, huh? <laughs> Don't worry guys, you can trust me. Because I'm not just gonna make you jump off a cliff with no safety precautions. Who do you think I am, bro? Do you think I'm just a regular Hearthstone player that's gonna give you a typical deck that's, you know, gonna let you jump off a cliff and not have it be worth it? I'm gonna tell you right now that, first of all, I need to get this out of the deck. I need to put these ones in here. There we go. Golden Cliff Dives. Now, why are we talking about this card? Because it's cool? Because it's based? Because it's a really interesting way of building your decks? I don't know if Demon Hunter can utilize it, but Shaman most certainly can utilize it. So let's talk about the new card in Shaman called Cliff Dive, but it is only available in Shaman thanks to Carefree Cookie. And it is very unfortunate that Cookie automatically disenergizes with this deck. So you really gotta make sure that every single other minion that you're putting in this deck is something that you want to pull out from the Cliff Dive. And this took me a couple of tries. There was like this dragon, for example, that I tried to run that honestly seemed like a good idea at the time. But it's not that good. This is a very bad card to put into the deck because you really need something that is more impactful than potentially trading into, you know, a 6 HP minion and then, you know, the minions don't even stick around. Like, it's it's not a good idea to run this card. So the cards that we have put in its place have been cards like Golgoneth because Golgoneth can, you know, heal. It can draw you cards. And something that's very important about Cliff Dive, something I forgot to mention, if the minions survive... They go back into the deck, and that's a very important distinction because if you have, like, Lifesteal, for example, if you have, you know, a card like, like, Golgoneth or, like, Yogg, you can activate their ability, they go back into the deck, and then you can use that ability again once you get access to the card. So, yeah, Golgoneth 100% finds his way into this deck for that reason because it's a very useful card for removal, for drawing cards, and potentially just smiting a minion. <laughs> it's kind of a funny way of utilizing it, honestly. But then you also have cards like Yogg, like I mentioned earlier. You can go for Tendies, you can mind control you can force attacks depending on the situation and who knows a turn six yog is very important for a deck like this depending on what matchup you're going up against but then you also have unkills the axe fighting its way into the meta yet again oh my god but the most important and the, and the coolest parts about this deck are the walking mountain synergies oh my god rush lifesteal mega wind theory trade into four minions have this thing survive it goes back into the deck that's healing 16 and preventing your opponent from killing you while also giving you so much leeway to connect to the late stages of the game but the other really cool card about this, the other new card that's available in a Demon Hunter that Shaman can utilize, All Terrain Void Hound. Whenever this attacks, give your hero plus five attack. Can you guys, uh, can you guys take a guess why we're gonna run a card like this? Well, because we have Horn of the Wind Lord. That's right. Yay! Oh my God, Wind Fury and Shaman is going to be very good this expansion. Even a control deck can do this. And the really interesting thing about this deck is that it technically has an OTK to where if you have Cliff Dive. If you hit both of your Void Hounds, give yourself 10 attack while you already have the Horn of the Wind Lord equipped, then you can play the Skirting Death in order to give you even more Wind Fury. And I haven't even, like, talked about the other win condition of this deck that might, you know, like, I really feel like, with, for example, Shaman is going to be very good. And the only reason why I am not highlighting, like, a version of this, like, Cabaret, like, Spell School Shaman is because I don't know the best version of the deck. And I feel like this is going to be very popular on the first day of the expansion. So I'm just going to wait for someone else to break this deck, and then I'll post about it when someone hits Rank 1 Legend with Shaman. Because this deck looks really good. And one reason this particular card looks amazing is because you have cards like Conductivity and Skirting Death that absolutely synergize perfectly, especially if your opponent has minions that are more than four attack. Because the way that this card works is that you steal four attack. If it doesn't have four attack, you only steal as much as it has. So if you do this on a two, H or a two attack minion, you only get two attack from it. So that's what makes this card a little bit more balanced, a little bit more, you know, not the worst thing in the world that just does nothing but buffs Wind Fury. But that's pretty much what this card does. It just buffs Wind Fury. Conductivity and Discarding Death is a 100% such a good combo that is going to find way in Shaman one way or another. But in order to like survive, we have other spell school cards. And we have other spells like Turn the Tides, Baking Soda Volcano, Frosty Decor. All great cards that help maintain early game. And one card that I really didn't rate that high that I definitely should have, Molten Magma. This, this is just such a great card. It's a very versatile card, and if you remember Warpath and Warrior back in the day when, oh god, when Echo cards were a thing during Witchwood, that was a long time ago, then yeah, it's a very similar thing. It, it, it's it's good because of that. It, you can get past Death Rattles, like say there's like 
a bunch of minions that can stick more minions. You can get you can get around that. It's a very useful card, and I just needed to, to specifically say this because when I reviewed this card, I was not nice. I, I call this card garbage, and it's a very useful card because it just goes in this kind of control deck. Like, what other card are you gonna run? Jam session? Not nearly as good. But those are the two main win conditions of the deck. You have your big minions and you have your big win fury. But the really interesting thing about this deck is how like you just don't really need to do a whole lot. Like you're just kind of waiting for your opponent to do something. Like this is almost like a pseudo control shaman to a degree. And a control shaman historically has not really been that good. But the times that it's good... It, it, it is very unpredictable for some players. So if you're wanting a little bit of an interesting take on the Shaman class, this is probably the most interesting way of being able to build the deck because Cliff Dive, it's just a sweet card. Now, how we utilize this in Demon Hunter, probably Ildari uh, Inquisitors, but I really feel like Shaman can utilize this card a lot better than Demon Hunter can. Because of the Wind Fury. Wind, Wind, Wind Fury is just busted, especially when you have a card that literally gives you plus 5 attack. Granted, it needs the rush on the cliff dive to work, but still, it, it can be busted. But don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, so that way you are notified when we put out that extra Shaman video, because we I know I will be posting about it at some point. I really do believe it is one of the best decks you can play from Perils, but we need to wait for the cards to officially release. And as always, don't forget to check out the Patreon. If you want to help support the content, help us continue to do this full time, then it is an extremely effective way to help us maintain this channel. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck breakdown, and we'll see you for the next video. My I played that God, card. It's broken. How does he do it? Lord Hellscream, the best Hearthstone player that ever lived. Bam. All right, give me the good stuff. Job's done. The thing I love about I love the most about these headphones. I can go get water, and if any of you guys is being rowdy, I can hear it. I can police from the other room, from the other room, like a literal mom. <laughs> Clicking into pop-up books actually not that bad. Good enough, I guess. I completely slept on molten magma, dude. Molten magma is actually good. Like remember Warpath? It's very similar to that, except I didn't think Warpath would be good in this deck. Whoa, bananas! Okay, hold on a minute. This turn. Yeah, it doesn't. Imagine if it kept the dis. Wait, hold on a minute. If I kill it, if I kill it while reducing its attack, does it maintain that debuff? I actually just want to test this for science more than anything. This is kind of a, a waste, not going to lie, but I want to do this for science. All right, here we go. And now we got Horn into the cliff dive. Ah, oh, dude, this song is actually bringing back the nostalgia, not gonna lie. Big shout out from Brazil. I'm trying to sub, but it's not working. No worries, Bernardo. If you can figure out later, uh, then... Wait a minute. So it doesn't maintain the debuff. Okay. We just we just learned that interaction. All right, here we go. Taunt totem. Damn. But yeah, man, thank you thank you for the uh for the kind thoughts, dude. Like if you can't make it work, it's fine right now. Um most likely just probably have to be on a PC to make it work. That's usually the prerequisite. Okay, so I could do this and make it into a 3-3. Three, three. three plus 4, 7, 10, that's 20. Don't need to swing another time right now. We could save this for a control tool. Thoughts on the new deck so far? Uh, there are some cr pretty crazy decks right now, and I'm not going to lie. Some of them scare me. Some of them really do scare me. Cough, Druid, cough. Oh, wait, this is actually kind of good. Damn it. I want my high roll.
That's right, Sonny. Um, that's not enough damage to satisfy me. I might actually just try to stick the, the terrain void hound because he has to kill it. Like, actually has to respect it. And then I can go for cliff dive and discarding death on turn uh, nine and try to win the game. Seda yeah, Seda Sonia. Seda Sonia is the uh, the new uh, the new band. In fact, hold on a minute. Seda Sonia low key is better than Three Days Grace. I can't take it. Can't take it. Yeah, so better place. Let me live my life. Okay, I didn't want to skip it. What the hell? I hit next and it, okay, whatever. I guess we'll listen to this one first. Yeah, if you like if you like Three Days Grace for for adam then you'll like this track a lot you know good yog Okay, hold on a minute. Cliff me, bro. Cliff me, dude. It's kind of a slow deck, but if I could just stick this, it's over. If only Shaman had, like, a way of somehow giving these rush in hand. Like, Demon Hunter has, you know, through Felon Flames. The only way Shaman can do this is with the Cliff. Wait a minute. That's just lethal. And that's why Win Fury is busted, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's just, it's Cliff Shaman, but it's really Win Fury Shaman. You know what I mean? The one that you stuck in my back. Dude, when I was younger, I thought that line was so fucking hard. <laughs> it's just kind of funny how my standards have changed over time. They do a cover of I Don't Care Anymore by Phil Collins. I thought y'all were kidding uh, when you said Tic Tac uh, Druid made Ecor quit, but damn. I haven't watched the video yet. Uh, what did he say? I'm assuming that you just watched it. Did he, did he actually say Druid in particular? Or was it just the deck archetypes? Like, I, I want to watch it later because I want to react to it. I want to see if I like agree with his points. Because most likely I will. Like, Hearthstone just isn't the same game it used to be, you know? It's just not the same game it used to be. And for some people, it's taken them a minute to really realize that, you know? Just now realizing I'm going against banter. He just doesn't like the game direction anymore. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. Rarn's message raw and the most out of everyone. Dude, I'll let you know. Like, Ecor and I were, like, trying to come up with, like, content ideas, like, a year ago. And I just got to say, it, it's kind of sad how it's like his motivation to play the game ever since that conversation we had has just gone down tremendously. Because he and I were like talking about like, oh, yo, that's pretty good. He and I were like trying to figure out ways of um, like, you know, co like coming up with new ideas for the Hearthstone, like Hearthstone scene. Like what would be accepted? What uh, would people respond to the best? That kind of stuff. Okay, there we go. Got the hex. His example was Tic Tac Druid. Oh, no. On turn five. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, he, he was already one foot in the grave, and unfortunately, Tic Tac fired the last bullet. It was... It was... Unfortunate day. The stars just aligned, so to speak. Also, this is Santa Sonia's best song. I agree. This is my personal favorite out of all of them. And if you like, if, if you like old Three Days Grace, this sounds very similar to it. Pretty sure he wrote about Three Days. Oh yeah, a hundred percent, dude. This this record is a big fuck you to Three Days Grace because they essentially sold out. You know, like in every sense of the word, they quite literally sold out. And oh wait a minute, it's elusive. Wait a minute, why did I pick Hex? I literally can't attack into it. Okay, this card this card's really sticky, man. Really sticky. I do have the volcano, but I don't want to waste a volcano. I'm 
not a good uh not a good option honestly. Eh, please don't mill the good card. Okay, sweet. Don't have to mill. He's probably thinking I'm playing something like Nature Shaman. But I'm not. I am not playing Nature Shaman right now. De no siree. You know what kind of sucks about this card too, though? Like, I actually can't hit it with Conductivity. Oh, no. Is this the Tic Tac deck? Wait, but I have Yogg. Jesus, man. Just elusive minions. It's elusive warrior. Well, this isn't good. At this point, it's just stall for Yogg. Elusive warrior. Who would have thought, man? Name of the band uh, means tone deaf. Human race. That one's good, though. Yeah, but name any other good song that's came out of Three Days Grace since, um, since the new vocalist came over. Human race and machine. I am machine's not a bad song. I will give you that. I Am Machine is like the most Three Days Grace that the band sounds like since Adam left, but that's about it. That's about it. All the other songs are so throwawayable in my opinion. Okay, Yogg for Poison. So we just can't kill the Zilly. Oh, this is just so awkward, man. I have like no good turn except for just throw the pop-up book. Totem last, lol. Insta, insta spell damage. Oh, never mind. I'm actually a genius. It's okay. Okay. Yogg, steal the Zilly is the only only line that I have right now. It's like uh, kicking Tom from Blink-182. I mean, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's a bit of a different situation, though. A lot more drugs were involved with that decision, I imagine. Alright, that's my Zilly now. Give. No, wait, no, 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 no. My god. How does he do it? Lord Hellscream, the best Hearthstone player that ever lived. Yeah, can't can't <laughs> elusive your way My out of that. My god. How does he do it? Lord oh, this is kind of bad, not gonna lie. Player that ever lived. I want to play the cliff, but now I'm going to end up milling it. And I still need my weapon. Did you hear some of Tom's live performances when uh, Blink brought him back? Uh, they were so dreadful, but the concert vibe was so much better. I've seen videos, and they were having so much more fun with Tom than they were with Matt. But Matt is obviously a better singer than Tom. See, that's that's why being more talented isn't more important in the music industry. It's about chemistry. Chemistry, you, you can't buy chemistry. You, you can't, like, it's the most important thing within a band. You gotta be able to stomach looking at each other. <laughs> that That's the secret of the music industry. I could give you, like, first-hand experience, dude. If you don't enjoy the process, it's a miserable experience. And that's why people, you know, drown themselves in, you know, alcohol and drugs. Because they're trying to, you know, relive, you know, the, 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 the good old days, you know? Relive the, oh, shit, I used to like this. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, I kind of struggled with, with doing live performances for a while because I didn't enjoy it at a point. Like, there's, there, like once you've done, you know, so many bar gigs, you've done you've done enough bar gigs. I milled the conductivity earlier, didn't I? Nice minion. Okay. The biggest issue with this deck is that I feel like I'm not going to be able to outvalue the hydration. Like, once that comes out, I feel like I just kind of lose, don't I? Maybe I should have saved that for, um... Maybe I should have saved it for, uh... A lightning storm so I could lightning storm into baking soda. Timing is pretty important in a band. I mean, timing and... I mean, that, that comes to skill, though. Timing is skill. Ti like, knowing when transitions are, that's all skill. But having charisma is a lot more important than that. You have to have charisma with the people that you're working with. Otherwise, you're just not going to enjoy the process. Honey on my table. We're going to have to hit him hard twice. I 
I do have my second weapon. It's important to keep that in mind. If I draw Cliff, I can get 10 damage from the, uh, from this. It's 10 damage plus 6. Okay, he's removing that. Avenge Sevenfold. I used, I've seen this band so many times, man. This, this band's fantastic live. You can be an Avenge Sevenfold hater you want, I, all you want. I don't care. Oh my god. Hydration station, anybody? Kind of revealing my win condition here, but when else am I going to be able to throw this out? Not a hater. I uh, would love to hear Maynard, though. Oh, dude, I would kill to see two alive. I would love to see two alive. Okay, big minion survive. One time. One time. One time. One time. <gasps> oh! Okay, yep, yep, there it is. There it is. Wait, but Zilliax didn't come back. But how do I deal with this? I don't think I can deal with this, mate. Walking Fountain, maybe? Walking Fountain has four attacks. I think I just lose to the Hydration Station, I hate to say. I'm actually... Dude, he's, he's dank memeing all over me. Wait a minute. This is dank meme warrior. <laughs> what, are, uh, what are these dank memes that I am seeing? Oh, he's going to take my Walking Fountain. Man, I guess I could show him the combo. Uh, yeah, there, there, there it goes. I needed that. I think all I have is... Uh, dude, if he actually didn't play this, that could have kept me alive. Like, actually could have kept me alive, but it, now it can't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fucking get smited. Wait a minute. Can I out-tempo him now? One. Two. Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, though, he's got a good point. All right, fuck it. I kind of have to go this direction. <laughs> Yo, where's my where's my achievement? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Control Shaman. <laughs> I saw Mark Port Mike Port and I play with Avenged Sevenfold. The dude was fucking crazy. Dude was insane. But I do agree with you. He didn't he didn't have the uh, the chemistry. Like he was a fantastic player, but working with Mike Portnoy, oh man, if you if you know if you know Mike Portnoy, oh man. The opinions that people have working with that guy. <laughs> it's like working with Gene Simmons. I wish I could. I've only saw them with Aaron and Bro. I mean, uh, well, Mike Portnoy's back with Dreams with Dream Theater. You know this, right? Like, go go walk, go see Dream Theater live now. That's how you see Mike Portnoy. They're either recording, like I know they're recording a new record. Maybe they're not doing tours, but okay. Wait a minute. Wasn't Droogie the one that had the location warlock earlier? But yeah, right now I've got um. Right now, I've got a uh, tool on my watch list eventually. All right. Play some Frosty Boys.
Micah back at Dream Theater. Yeah, dude. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. It's true. He's back as of like, I think two months ago. You know what? I'll give you the song request, Cake Lord. What is this? Number of the Beast? I will add that for you. Add it to the queue. Only because I like you. So he's just going all in with Location Warlock. Location Warlock, huh? Woe to you, O Earth and Sea, for the devil sends the beast with raw. Okay, you, that's not that's not supposed to be in all caps. He's almost like whispering it. Woe to you, O Earth and Sea, for the devil sends the beast with <laughs> sends the beast with wrath, because he knows that time is short. Let he who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. That number is 666. Like, where, where's the caps there, bro? He's, he's muttering it? Dude, he's incantating it. What do you mean? It's an incantation. He's, he's in, 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 enchanting it and in, inciting it. Whatever, the, whatever the, the present verb tense is. I'm not a number in the eyes of the devil. Yes, you are. <laughs> in this context... <laughs> In the eye, in the eyes of the number of the beast, you are but a number. Sorry, sorry to break it to you. Okay, Void Hound, have it stick, win the game. Can you imagine? Everybody has a number, according to Bruce Dickinson. Exactly, dude. A double table. I mean, I could still just let this stick, right? I mean, but he's got Forge of Wills next turn. At the same time, though, like this, if this sticks, it wins the game. I have to play it. I have to play it. And I believe in my deck, it's two walking fountains and this. Oh, he's just playing. Oh, he's playing Hand Warlock. You know, I should have assumed that with the with the, the forges. My god. <laughs> Can't believe it. Someone actually using these weird locations. Portnoy set is almost as good as Danny Carey's. Almost. Uh, I mean, you talk about the, the kit itself. Best kit ever still goes to Neil Peart, honestly. How many hours did it take to, to set up Neil Peart's drum kit? Like three or four hours? Like, there's no beating that. There's no beating that. That that kit is 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 the, the the pinnacle. It's actually the pinnacle. Like, maybe Danny Carey's, like, top five, but Neil Peart's number one, bro. Wait, that guarantees the draw. GG. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did it. If your friend jumps off a cliff, would you jump with them? Hold on.